all, this is May and welcome back to my channel for a brand new speed build. So today I am building an Adobe budget home here in Oasis Springs for my save file project. This is going to be an inhabited lot, so no sims are going to be living here. So you will be free to move in your own sims if you would like to. This was originally going to be a starter home, but it is so difficult to do one and at the same time decorate the inside in some sort of a nice looking way. So I wasn't fully successful on doing that, but this ended up costing close to 24,000 simoleons, I think. So not too far off at least. And we do have two bedrooms in this house, one double bed and a bunk bed with two beds. So you can ideally fit up to four sims here. And the more sims you start out with, the bigger starter budget you will have. So I'm a bit uncertain if you will actually be able to buy this with a four sim starter budget because you need to take into consideration the cost of the actual lot too but for later in my save file i might do some undecorated homes as well like starter homes so maybe i'll only do the kitchen and the bathroom and then you can decorate the house yourself if you want to just to like save a bit of money moving in but yeah, this is the first budget home I'm doing for my save file that I'm working on. I've really been in the mood to build for my save file again, and this build didn't take me too long to do, as you probably can tell by the length of the video. This is probably one of the shortest videos I've done on YouTube, but I was really satisfied with how little time I spent on editing the footage for this one, and doing the voiceover is going to be so quick as well. And I ended up slowing down the video a tiny bit more than I usually do as well to actually have somewhat of a length to the video. Otherwise, I think it would have been just five minutes long, I think. And yeah, <laughs> I was actually inspired by the new Lovestruck pack to do this kind of a style for a home. I don't think I've ever done an Adobe style home before. So I, I made my way over to Pinterest like I usually do. And I've just been pinning so many homes, not just for this style, but in general for the save file because I'd like to stay organized with Pinterest to like make some subboards with all the world names or the world name in a certain style, for example. Especially for OC Springs, I have split it into different categories or subboards, if you will. So I have one for more Mediterranean and Adobe homes, then one for more mid-century modern and contemporary modern. And then for those again, I have residentials and commercial lots. So definitely it keeps track of all my IDs and I would totally recommend doing that as well if you're currently working on a save file or anything similar. Maybe you just want to keep track of your inspiration photos for certain styles. I think it works for so many things. It just started raining outside again so I had to close my window. Hopefully you didn't hear too much of the rain in the background. I mean that's kind of a it's kind of a chill <laughs> background noise but yeah. So for this build, I found an inspiration photo that I'll show up on the screen for you all. I initially wanted a bigger backyard, like fenced in backyard, but I ran out of budget, unfortunately. And as for the landscaping, I tried to use a lot of debug plants and trees because those cost zero simoleons. So that certainly helped. And overall, I think I primarily used the new Lovestruck pack and the Forent pack for this build. I used a couple of items here and there from other packs, but this ended up not using too many luckily and if there's like any packs you don't own you can still download this build into your game because it either usually deletes the items you don't have or it replaces them so it's fully possible to still get it from the gallery and make your own twist to this in that case i did struggle a bit while building this though because i started building this this after the the new base game update that came out on tuesday and there's been a lot of weird things happening in my game but I was luckily able to fix some of my problems on my own earlier today, actually. So for example, I've had trouble opening my cheats line for weeks and it turns out it had something to do with my AMD graphics card. So I turned off the hotkeys in their software. So that helped. And another thing that just recently started happening was that items were disappearing when I placed them down. So I made sure to repair my game and someone suggested that I overwrite my own save file like when you save your your game so one of those things or maybe both held for that and now i'm just happy to be back to building to be honest because i was live streaming the other day with all these complications and it was 
certainly something else. <laughs> I don't think I've been this done with the game in forever, to be honest, but despite my frustrations and the game being what it is, it still made it somewhat fun and entertaining, I guess. But I'm still waiting for my building mods to be updated because I find tool mod and better build by mod by Twisted Mexi to be so helpful when building because you can easily access live edit and debug items and you don't have to do any of the like BB move objects cheats or the other build by cheats and yeah so I'm just patiently waiting but it was now that my problems are fixed it's surprisingly going well building but I need them in my game. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first build I've done for this neighborhood in the save file. I'm planning on having quite similarly styled build in, in this area. Meanwhile, in the more greener area down below this neighborhood, I'll do more mid-century modern-ish builds. So that's where the new home for Bob Pancakes is. And I'm currently working on a family home in the same area next to Bob, which is going to be for a musician and a painter and their teen daughter. I haven't yet started on the neighborhood where the Calientes originally live, but I will have to be... Yeah, I'm thinking more like Mediterranean mission-style homes, like the classic white or beige concrete and then the red roofs. I really... I've started to like those a lot more, like making them. I've never been fond of doing those, but with the Lovestruck pack, I think it will be a bit easier, actually. And I really did enjoy doing Dina Calientes' new home, so I think it will be more... I think it will be more fun to do some more and then add the love struck items as well. And if you're interested in more of the save file builds, they're all in playlist on my channel. So feel free to check them out too if you want to. And we're already getting close to the end of the video. So this was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and a follow for more content in the future. If you want to be notified of when I upload a video next, make sure to click the bell icon too. This build is playtested and up on my gallery. My ID is Hanami Sims, or you can find me with the hashtag Hanami Sims as well. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today as we build this Adobe budget home. And I can't wait to talk to you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.